Hey everyone, this is Technoli again, and we're going to install Windows 10. You know Windows 7 support ends January 14th of 2020, so you better get ready. And this is a way to do it that'll cost you nothing. You just download the Media Creator tool from Microsoft's website, which I'm going to show you in this video. You've got to have a uh, at least an 8 gigabyte thumb drive to put that on and uh, that way you can boot to your computer with Windows 10 fresh install okay so the thing about this is is this particular computer this HP that I've got it just had a Windows 8 sticker like this one on the screen you see that sticker right there Windows 8 or Pro Windows 8 so that was typical back when Windows 8 was around or when it came out and it didn't have any key code or you know product key to put into the Windows 10 install but on Windows 8 you're not going to need a key okay and we're going to show you how to get around it all right let's get started What we'll do here is we'll go up here, do a search bar, and we'll just type in Microsoft. And then Media Creation Tool just pops right up as soon as you start typing media. And then it's going to be the first one here, Download Windows 10 Disk Image. Click on there. Then you'll come to this screen and you want to download the tool. Click on that. Downloads it and then we are going to want to install it okay so we went to our download folder and we're getting ready to install we say yes it'll pop up here and this next part right here this will take a few minutes to get ready so what you want to do is have your uh, 8 gigabyte thumb drive ready to go we'll be right back when it comes to the next screen okay so then we'll come up with uh, Windows 10 setup, and we just want to say accept. Then once this comes up to the next screen, I'll show you what we need to do. Okay, once we come up to this screen, there's two choices. We can upgrade this PC now or create an installation media. We're going to create the installation media disk. Click next. Now, for here, if you're going to install Windows 10 on multiple machines, you can uncheck this and you can say, I want both 32-bit and 64-bit operating systems for Windows 10. Now, why would you use 32-bit? 32-bit would be like on an old machine that just can't quite support 64-bit operating system. This is going to be your, your low-end machines, probably a machine that had XP on it originally. Okay, so for right now, we're just going to choose both. Why not? And click Next. And then this is where we want to make sure that this is checked because we're going to make a USB flash drive. Okay, so we click here and click Next. Then I already have my flash drive installed to the computer and it picked it up here as the drive E. And I'm going to go ahead and click Next. Now, this process will take quite a bit of time. So just sit tight, watch the progress, or go get something to eat and come back. Okay, well now you can finally see it is done. And this can take a long time. Be patient. This took about an hour for my computer. I guess the faster your internet speed is probably the better it's going to be to make this drive. So when you're done here, you just click finish. And then setup is cleaning up a bit. So there, now we're done. Okay, let's move on to the next step. Okay, everybody. So now I've got Windows 10 loaded on this external USB drive. Okay, so I'm going to plug it in to my USB 2.0 port on this HP. Now, Newer computers have USB 3.0 or 3.1, and they also still have sometimes USB 2.0. The way you can tell them apart is on 
a Windows or a, on a USB 3.0, the ports are blue like on this computer. USB 2.0 are black. So I'm going to plug it into here. Sometimes when you're installing Windows 10, it gets lost. It can't find the operating system on the uh, flash drive. So the fix for that is to plug it into a USB 2.0. So for this video, I'm going to have it plugged in the USB 2.0. I would suggest it for you when you're doing yours if you have a USB 2.0 port. So on a, on a uh, HP machine, to get into the BIOS, you have to press the F10 key after you turn it on, right after you turn it on. Now, the reason we have to get into the BIOS is because we have to boot from the new USB stick. We're not going to boot from the internal hard drive. If we do, we're just going to go right back to our old operating system. So we need to make the USB drive bootable first. So in an HP, you hit F10. Now, in the description down below, I'm going to have a list of all the different manufacturers and the key codes that you press to get into their biases. So if you have any questions about that or anything, just comment below. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to press, I'm going to turn it on, and then start tapping that F10 key. Okay, there we go. All right, so now I'm into the BIOS. Now, BIOS is different for all different computers. It might, might look like this, it might look similar to this, it could look different. What we're looking for is the boot order of this, of this uh, computer. So in this one, we have to go to System Configuration and then arrow down keys, use your arrow keys, to go down to Boot Options and press Enter. Now, this is already set up to boot from a USB diskette. Now, if your computer looked like this internal drive or say uh, boot from this one OS boot manager we don't want that we want to boot from a USB diskette on key or USB hard drive so we're going to use the um, F5 and F6 keys to toggle up and down. You see how that goes up and down when you press the F5 and 6 keys. So we want the USB diskette as the first boot drive. Now on this computer you press F10 to save and exit the changes that I just made. So we're going to go like this and then hit enter to say yes. Now we're going to be booting from our new USB. Now if you remember we set up this USB Windows 10 disk so we could we could install either 64-bit or 32-bit operating system. This is a newer computer, Windows 8, so we definitely want the 64-bit. A 32-bit would probably be like an old XP machine, if you remember. So we're going to select 64-bit, and it's going to start loading the Windows 10 files. This can take a little bit of time, but it's not too bad. Um, I'm going ahead and installing this operating system on a brand new Western Digital solid state hard drive. And you're going to be amazed at how fast it is. We're going to do a video on installing Windows on a solid state hard drive to show you how much faster it is. And as you can see, we're already ready to start installing. So here we go. You select your languages and your keyboard input and everything right here. We just want everything US. So click Next. Now we want to install. Pretty simple, straightforward. We'll wait for this for a second to come up to the next screen. Waiting on that to come up. All right, so once we get here, we're just agreeing to all Microsoft's terms and conditions and clicking Next. Now, if you'll notice, this computer, this Windows 8 machine has not asked me for a key code. And it's not going to because this operating system, Windows 10, knows that this computer came with Windows 8. If it didn't know what it came with, it would come up and ask you for a CD key. So we're just going to click Next. Now we're going to do a custom install. We're not going to do an upgrade. That's something we'll do in another video to show you how to upgrade your old Windows to Windows 10. 
but we're doing a fresh install. So we want to come down here and click install windows only. Now, if you'll notice, this drive has a bunch of partitions on it. Now, this drive had Windows 10 on it previously. So what I like to do is just click on these and just delete each one of them. So we know we're getting a clean install. There's nothing going to be left over from the previous version of Windows. Okay, so boom, there we go. It's a 250 gig drive. It's going to give us this much free space. So we're ready to go. We just click next. Now, once it gets here, it's going to copy the Windows files and install everything. And this can take a little bit of time. So we'll come back right after this is finished. Okay, coming back in here, 96%. We'll just let this go so you guys can see how this works, this last part of the install of Windows. All right. Once we get to here, we can just go ahead and click Restart Now. And now, if we don't pull out the USB drive that we had in there to boot from, it's going to come right back up to it, as you can see right here. So let's pull out the drive, pull out my thumb drive, okay? And now I'm just going to hit Control Alt Delete, and it's going to go ahead and boot to the new hard drive. Control Alt Delete just tells the computer to restart. Now this little bit of uh, getting devices ready sometimes can take getting ready right here. Sometimes it gets stuck for a little bit because it's doing some things in the background, but we'll go ahead and watch some of it here. Okay, now we're done with the getting ready and uh, it's coming up. It just rebooted itself. Okay, now we're getting close. Just a moment. My mouse is ready. Okay, once we get to this Hi point. There. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. Cortana's here a to little help. Sign in here, a touch of Wi Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. Okay. If you need an assistive screen reader, We're going to turn off the microphone. The okay. So, now after this Cortana comes up, it's going to ask you really simple stuff. What region are we in? We're in the United States. What kind of keyboard layout it is? Is it this one is US? Now, if you are an accountant or something and you've got a a little side numerical keyboard or something you could add it here but we don't have one so we're just going to skip now once we get here we want to log in to a network so we're going to connect right here and uh, okay we're connected we can click next Okay, so now it wants you to create a Microsoft account. I don't have one. I don't use one. So I just click down here, offline account. All right. So it'll skip that part. And I don't use any of these items necessarily to set up Windows. So I just say no. Now, who's going to use this PC? Um, Mike is going to use it. So, Mike. And do I want a super memorable password? No, I don't want one. I don't use one for my home PC. If you did, that's where you would do it. Now, if you want to make Cortana your personal assistant, you just accept. Yeah, that's fine. These are your privacy settings. You can go through each one of these and decide if you want to 
allow Microsoft to see all you want to do or if you want to tailor it to where or you like it. I'm, for now, I'm just going to accept everything. Okay, and uh, Cortana is going to polish up some things for us. And this is what I always love to see. We're getting everything ready. So once we get to this point, we're pretty much done. We're just waiting for Windows to finish some final installs. And during this process, it's really important for you not to turn off the PC, okay? Or it will mess up the install. So you also wanna make sure if you're using a laptop that you've got it plugged into the AC current. We're done. Okay, it says right here, restarts required to finish up everything on the device. Of course, it brought, brought us right up to an internet page. We're just gonna close that out. Now we'll just go ahead and restart it, make sure everything's working fine. And boom, there we are. Windows install. Now if we go over here to the folder, we can see that on the C drive, there's nothing in there. It's just a brand new install, fresh, ready to go. We're ready to surf the web or do whatever we wanna do, okay? So I hope you like this video. If there's anything that you wanna ask, please comment below. Any questions you might have at all, Please uh, subscribe if you like this video and like. I'd appreciate that. I'm just starting out here. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time 